Hello pals and welcome to Gamer Latte. My name is Ellen and today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play. I did a Let's Play on my last video where I played Kind Words for sort of 10-15 minutes and doled out some advice to people, got some lovely letters in return, check that one out if you haven't watched it. But today I'm going to be doing another Let's Play because I enjoyed that one so much and I think I will do more Kind Words in the future. But also because this game that I am really excited to play had only just come out, it came out yesterday, and I thought, why not jump straight in and play it? It's called Before Your Eyes, and I have never heard of it before. I don't know how it completely slipped um, through my net. I'm usually quite up on indie games that are coming out. I don't know if it's because it was a Kickstarter game, it probably didn't have as much uh, marketing behind it, given that it was crowdfunded. Um, but apparently it was in development for seven, eight years. So it's been a long time coming. The thing that really excited me about this game is um, it's kind of USP, it's unique selling point, is that you are traveling through, um, you're experiencing someone's memories, but the entire game is controlled and kind of dictated by your real life blinks. So I've already calibrated my webcam so that it recognizes when I blink. And yeah, I'll just be experiencing this person's memories. I think they've died. I don't know too much about this. I really don't know much at all. But yeah, I'll be trying not to blink so that I can experience as much as possible. Though I will preface this by saying I'm pretty blinky. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the blinkiest, I'm probably like a solid eight. So I will try to keep my eyes open so we can all experience as much as possible. But I mean, I just blinked twice then after saying that sentence, so it's not looking great, is it? But we will see how it goes. But let's try this out, shall we? Blink. Look, it worked. Um, okay, so I've got it on pause at the moment because I had to like calibrate my blinks, like I said. Um, so the game hasn't started yet, but as soon as I click resume, we will go straight into the good stuff. So let's see how this goes. I'm already um, worried. <laughs> that um, like my eyes aren't wet enough, um, that I'm not gonna be able to keep my eyes open for long enough, but we will see how this goes. Um, this is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? Oh, I'm blinking so much. I do see how this works. Try blinking onto the white symbol. Where's the white symbol? Oh. That worked. This is very cool. Oh, okay, so I don't think it will be fully dictated by my blinking. I think the metronome will show when it's in blink territory, if that makes sense. Whoa. Did I just drown? Is that what just happened? That's mine. Some, sounds like someone's fished me out. Well, hello there, stranger. Hello. Ooh. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? Well. I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no Where's mouth to speak gone? with. Or hands to shake with. Or nose to look down with. So we're going to have to find another way. Oh, wow, yeah. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any I'm sense. I'm my body. Body still. So, if you understand yeah. what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Understood. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I knew you were special. You see all them I like poor this souls down there? lost in the waves I didn't choose any of them I chose you oh that's what I was looking See, at I, so I must have I been one of those sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch or what's a better word the music I don't know if it's the instrument um, it's giving me outer wilds vibes ah. I was using a thesaurus a premonition when a soul's worth pulling up Now, you see that tower? <laughs> I like the little audience he's got here of big, seagulls. One? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be oh. judged. I'm going to present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. <laughs> now, if she's impressed, 
I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself Did a spot. They say big coin or bitcoin. Magnificent <laughs> city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well. <laughs> I we don't won't. have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. An Class orator. A storyteller. He's definitely being using a thesaurus. I think an orator is like a speaker. Shut like, up, I think he means he's good at telling down. stories. You had I think. It was my fault. You were no good. <laughs> Look at them. Unsatisfactory clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> is he a cat or a dog? I thought he was a cat. He looks cat-like, but that, that noise was dog-esque. What are you, sir? I like his little Mac. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but... I love, I know I love the word verbose. <laughs> if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're going to show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So okay. just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm going to send you there. What is the first thing but I can understand, remember? understand. No matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Seems like a pretty Alrighty raw deal, then. but I guess that is right, life, <laughs> isn't it, really? Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. No! Now, don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. <laughs> I didn't fight it for very long. Just try to enjoy <laughs> Let's it pretend I time. didn't fight it. Try to enjoy it this time. Does he mean my life? I think he does mean my life. Oh, I need to blink. Like, there we go. Look at that oh. sun. I'm guessing I'm young. We've got here. a long, beautiful day ahead of us. And that's my mum talking to me. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Mm -hmm. This seems like later in the same day because the it looks like a similar atmosphere. Mum, mm -hmm. I assume. <laughs> Mother, I assume. Mm -hmm. What's she doing? She's writing. That looks like it might be a stave, like a musical. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you yeah, say? Yeah, she's writing music. I like how it pulls focus from. Look, if I look at that, it's blurry, and now it's in focus. I do not see the big spiky plant. Mother, you've descended into... Oh, there we go. Mother, please stop descending into darkness. Never got to find the rest of that story. Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Mm, they do. Amen, Mama. Where's the first page of my piece? I feel like that blink might have been me finding the first page, because I saw it blow away right at the beginning. Screwed myself out of that one, didn't I? Sorry, <laughs> mummy. There's your little hand. Oh, my name's Benny. We have to make oh. this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. You know, it'll really be something. Oh. My eyes started to water then because of the opening for so long. Oh, I have a little tiny piano. <laughs> oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? Oh, she's a pianist. <laughs> Didn't even think. Just blink then. Blink myself out of a lovely memory with mum then, didn't I? Oh, this is cool. What this? Sounds good, honey. Oh, and da oh, father, please put on a shirt. Trying to relax. Oh my! I didn't realize my cursor was controlling. I think I was absentmindedly popping bubbles. I like in. the music. To be fair, I wanted to blink the image of my father's naked torso away, so. What do you think he's thinking about? That looks like the boat. It looks like the little um, key that was turning on the boat. 
probably a little solving bit. the problems of the universe. Just me? I am putting the worlds to right, Father. Thank you for noticing. Do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see why not. I mean... Oh, I blinked! Try. <laughs> no, I blinked trying to hold my eyes open. At least I didn't think it was. Derivative, eh? Hey? Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for Is she a professional? Okay, I think she's... It really means a lot. Either a professional pianist or trying to make it as a professional pianist. Oh! Doesn't sound like it's going well, though, does it? sure a little mess of color. Thank you. Don't want to throw it. No! You I don't know. Keep working at it. One day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. You'll be a real artist. I think I'm going to be an artist. <laughs> Or maybe I don't ever make it as an artist and that's what this is about. That would be sad. It'd be a bit like the... That used to be my piano. The storyline of my Soul. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. It feels weird having um, things that belong to your mum when they were younger. I don't know why. <laughs> he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Guessing you learn to like it though. This is such a cool scrapbook to have of memories. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna get to look okay, at the other Benny. one. Are you ready to see something? I've really never been so special? annoyed by my own blinks. Yes. I just don't want him to get attached. What am I gonna get attached to, Papa? Richard. What? Look at it! What's wrong with that? We oh, am I gonna blink this cat to death? I swear to God. Oh, is my mum allergic to him? <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. That wasn't C major. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? <laughs> now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? That'll make me feel sad. Because it's a minor. Very key. good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <laughs> I love how it pulls focus from the different things like that I'm like looking me at. And your little friend on your piano there. <sighs> Will I ever get used to this blinking thing? Will I embrace the mechanic? She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I'm guessing this is how how he met my mother. <laughs> I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know. I just guessed that he was I gonna say gravitas. Very quickly lost. She dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Oh, I got to do the other one. Oh! <laughs> I'm getting so annoyed with my eyes. My pissing eyelids. Where's mum? She's not at her piano. Mm. I'm at the piano. Move aside, mama. There's a new pianist in town. And his name is Benny. Is my name Benny? I think it's Benny. <laughs> the passing day for chamber orchestra, Ellie Fishman. L. Fishman. Oh. Wait, is that... That's my piece. Mm -hmm. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? So she's Elle Fishman. What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. Oh, frustrates me. Hello. 
Oh. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Hi, Joe and Cat. I already did. For a moment. I couldn't figure out. I was wondering if that red circle was the job she was going for. But. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. He's grown up. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? Guessing Mum got the job. What could happen between the happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? <gasps> did the cat just piss on them? I'm flying him out in February. Right? Did, the cat, did the cat just you know, pee on them? I was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please, let... I was going to say his art's getting a lot better, this but I barely got to see metronome. it. Oh, I know, Mum. to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. I wonder if he's quite a, um, I don't know what the word is, but someone who's quite tough on... You know, my father once told me... Welcome home, Dad. ...when I was about your age. The only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. That's a nice way of looking at it, but also an incredibly so pressured... Asked, what about your children? Thinking... I might be a work of genius, just as I was. What did he say? He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> but I haven't seen him in over ten years. Sounds like she had a rough relationship with him. Aw, oh, man, am I way older now? You really need to stay in time with the metronome, what was okay? That? I had it in my head that this was going to go chronologically, but maybe that was a big old flash forward. Oh. Subdivide the time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Oh, I was playing Fear Release then. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. <laughs> well, I don't think he liked that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but it. Say no more, Mum. I'm gone. In the blink of an eye. Ernie! Ernie. Buddy! Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! Oh, my God, El, what if you got eaten by a coyote? Has my cat gone missing? So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie was, Ernie was a, a girl! And you're sure about that? I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. Lots of little Ernie's. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green. Are you able to pick up a new book? Yes. You know, a galleon is a particular interest. I meant Ernie's book. Oh, yeah. Got those two. Insanely expensive, right? No, no. Yeah, this doesn't seem like... This clearly does not fit with the rest of... What's that noise? I know, it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Am I getting better at it? You're really getting there, honey. Oh. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. That's still fear release though. That sheet music didn't say. Two brackets on each side. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? I mean, he found the zero. Congratulations, B. 
Oh, I'm growing up. I want that box full by the time I come in there. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Is that me? I'll have your head. I'll feed them to the cat. But no. Maybe if you actually Hey you. No, yeah, that's not me. You. <laughs> Come over here. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. Why are you always out here taking Very photos? Very slow, aren't I? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Because oh. that's Chloe. <laughs> Quiet, oh no, I'm playing for people. He's unbelievable. My god, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know. Say head of accounting. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years ago. So she doesn't write music the class anymore. This is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. <laughs> the class will be broken up in. Hey, you. Yes? Look, oh, it's Chloe. Class. Dear weird neighbor kid, we are in the same class. What a coincidence! Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. This Do not talk to me ever. I want each of you to write it down. Oh. Not do it along the sidelines. Not Stop stare off into space. I'm gonna look right at you, mate. You've been very rude to me. Those who cannot remember the past now are condemned to repeat it. Next slide. Chloe. Tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes. Yeah, I'll help you out, mate. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That, that was not it, mate. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspect he bought it for himself. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Co Consters? The little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. It's a video game. Oh, I want the job of looking at the to think of that crap. Uh -huh. How meta. <laughs> Not that this is crap, but. I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. Oh, we play conscious together. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very <laughs> sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? That's a very interesting detail. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really... It's called a magnet school. It's called a... It's about an hour away in a town called Bert... I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life can take... She wants me to get a music college. So what college. do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Do I want to get a music college? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? Bach, a well-tempered clavier, 48 preludes and fugues. Yeah, that. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. 
So no pressure. Mum. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. Why wouldn't you make me audition with something I know and like? I'd just like to see you really rise to the occasion just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. Sounds like I'm living the life my mum wanted to live. Living not this boring town, I'll tell you that. The life I want to live? I'm not going to crumple it, that's rude. Thirty days until audition. Oh, okay, I am getting to practice it. I thought that was us heading to the audition. She was like, just wing it, mate. Ooh. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. I want to answer it, though. Calling you again? All right, ma'am. Obsessed with you? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it. <sighs> I don't even know what you have to say. Is in the presence of my art, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against mm -hmm. a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And accent. what if they are deemed unworthy? <laughs> well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet. Hey, and she's got Mr. Kid. Dust. The head Look of a crocodile, it. fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus. Tonight after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak now, out my house and go sleep on the beach. If you see, want to get invited, draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. Do not pass judgment. Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. So I am not quite <laughs> sure why I don't hear more friends. Ew, why is he right so now? scared looking? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my... Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, well listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard! Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what... I think Mum's projecting a little bit. TBH. Where's my cat? I haven't seen them since Lights they had out. all the babies. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. Oh. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Am I going to have to choose whether to go to the beach or go to my audition? Or, or sleep Mom before my audition? Not Mom says you say. Benny, I say... I'm gonna sneak out. I'm a child. Wow. I didn't think you'd actually pick up. I mistook you for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus nine. Oh, we're at the beach. You know, I'm really glad you're here. Oh, There's Mum's gonna be livid. I need to talk to you about, or to get off my chest. Conster's is actually a really good game. I think she was going to tell me that she liked Probably me. Didn't sleep at all. She just wanted to hang out with I'm me. Cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay. You still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Oh, my goodness. Maybe you just up. try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. She's pissed. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. I feel like it's going to be harder for me to play well. Maybe the thing on the keyboard's going to be smaller because I went to the beach. 
I went to the beach each instead of trying to play. Oh, it's just making it worse. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time Yikes. to practice? Yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path. Oh, no. Wherever it may take you, okay? Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. Well... I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. I mean, she was really good at something, and it seems like the world wasn't too kind to her. You want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Time There's I... a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny. Am I... This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for a while means I can spend more time. Did I get myself ill by going to the beach? Where am I now? If this isn't video game time, I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Games are productive, Mama. Trust me. Why do I keep saying Mama? <laughs> hey, Mama. It's my giveaway box. Oh, this is going to be the thing that I get good at, all right? <gasps> you won an award and for Mr. it! Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Art school application. Is this a me thing or a mum thing? <laughs> you are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. Nailed it. <laughs> Is that the same man who was just talking? Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. It's very zany, very kitsch. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. It's talking to me. You go, Mr. Brit. Feel each shape. Oh, you fiend. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. Is that me? You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. <sighs> oh, he's about to say something else nice about me then. I blinked it away. I did that well, did I? I'm in a gallery. I'm stunned. I keep blinking through the compliments. <laughs> I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards and it all probably feels weird and Oh, I like the one before. The opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. 
I wish I had thought of it that Didn't way. like what I'm making. <laughs> God, this they, this game really doesn't miss a blink. Like I was looking down and blinked and it caught it. Sign contract or crumple contract? Sign. I've got a good feeling about you. We're going to make a lot of money together. To actually Mom. making some money with one's art. <laughs> Lord knows I could never do it. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, that's good. My mouth's high up on my face. I really like how this game is. Um, I really like the mechanic behind this painting. I think it is. Wrong places. Oh, that was the worst one! I liked the one before it again. Am I getting paid for that? Because that was not... Answering. Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep. <sighs> but that's enough from me. Now you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud She's of. She's died. Her. Magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? No. Oh. <laughs> Go on, B. Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? Hey, honey. Guess who's calling? Again. Ugh, mess that up. Look, you know I talk to big... Im Was that our boss? Hey, Benny. Guess who's calling? Well, I feel like I'm ignoring my work. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm selling the house. Son in the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. No. And I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Glad I got tissues. <laughs> Whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> oh, he looks so much older. Ah. Uh. I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, yeah. I know she told you not to pick up the phone. That was the last time. <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you Keep. did. She just wanted you Keep. to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. Can I keep that too? <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. It's really nice that at the funeral, um, he called her. He called, the dad called Benny, um, the like magnum opus or something, because it kind of calls back to when she she asked her dad if she was a masterpiece. Oh, that's when they went to the beach together. <laughs> oh. oh, damn it. Look. Unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. It's like
like I can see her in the paint. I can feel. Oh, he's still doing well. Oh. That's quite a nice one, actually. I like that one of all the ones I've done so far. Inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens, relatively unknown in her life, Bryn lifted really his cute? mother's work it's out Chloe. of obscurity. Oh! Your neighbor. My god, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. Oh. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I mean, I know the Just work pretty well. That my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. Mm. Hey, so not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something. Okay, but you regret sending me that mean note on the first day of school. I'd really eh? love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day. You finally sink your hook into a... Whoa, They're calling whoa. us a jackpot because there we're a famous artist. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up. <laughs> I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but... Whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> well... The gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, quite near why don't we give your story a test run? Yes. Maybe help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper! Before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? Happy. Oh, this His is like childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh... What'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? No. Oh. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Now, how would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? <sighs> kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster. Oh, let's be honest, she was quite demanding. <laughs> Therefore, as his piano teacher, they could, she, she could was be both, over though. demanding, mm. forcing him I said to demanding, not over demanding. And day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. Putting words in my mouth a bit there, mate. How about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend? Your first love. I young, blinked too. through one of the most important bits, I think, with her. Uh, don't be bad. But she was kind of yeah, telling me how she me. felt. But I think she was our first love. Anyway, first love. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up <laughs> all night with his first love Rude. and blowing it the next day. Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly <laughs> great musician. Didn't say any of that. did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? 
See, well, yeah, when he I was guess. 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet. <laughs> With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum dolls, you mucky fowls. Must be a dog. All right! I get it! I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I had assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Everything he said was true, though. Being reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah. Good thinking. I don't know if he's implying I'll that I lied. You once I'm done with this one. I felt like I told the truth. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Hmm. Hopefully. I feel really tense. I feel like I told the truth. I saw her as a musician who... Bit sap. You know that? You just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. What's going on? I don't think I lied at any and point. Don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that Sounds I ever like a camera. out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. I don't know if this is gonna if this happens this in the game together, regardless. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through. I don't know if I did something wrong. Lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? You know, my father once told me when I was a... This. Stay here. What did your mother... Hmm? Keep your eyes open. I need to see. keep my eyes open that long. Let's try this again. Okay. I can't keep 
keep my eyes open for that long. Keep your eyes open. I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. oh, her dad died. Oh. I oh, see. She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. So it's not so much that I lied, it's something that he wasn't really looking what? at. Did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I... Yes, I understand about the cat. <laughs> Let's keep going. Do you really understand how cute the cat was, though? <gasps> no! What happened to the cat? One more time. Sorry for swearing. I swear to God, if you blink <laughs> again. Okay. Death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. But simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. I wondered where the cat went. It's never mentioned I again. Like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, after what happened with her mom. about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. I didn't get all of that. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Just... Come on, keep... We can focus in... Oh, crap, I didn't realize that was another I one. understand that it's difficult. That's why I need to see it. <sighs> Staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I feel like this is for your own <laughs> good, man. Keep them open. Time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, but look, I mean, having him home for low means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want him to hear us talking like this. Mm -hmm. I need to hear what they're saying. Really try to recall it. Try closing your eyes. It might I mean, help what's you. What's the remember. point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. <sighs> okay. We don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. This game, man. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs.
You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost... Okay, so I'm starting to think this was always going to happen in the game and I didn't accidentally it's lie. video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why does she think that she... Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home. Raised by loving parents. Is this what the dog slash cat said earlier? In a quaint village, yeah. By the sea. His mother was a composer. Yeah. Man, this I stand is by wild. It. She was a composer. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the <laughs> eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really... Don't act like you're not flattered. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? Ugh, he's having a... Knock, knock. MRI. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but... I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a f I can't. Oh. Just go in there and tell him you loved him. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just not right now. Okay. Don't worry. Just Why can't she go to bed? Why didn't she like my story? Hey B. Just want you to know that. Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. I, oh, I said I that she was great. Yeah. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those. That's well, nice of him, I guess. Benjamin Brin was a loser. So I guess it wasn't just a case of him being ill and then discovering he was an amazing painter. They were. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. Get up! 
So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. Hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay. Well. Well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said screw you too. Yeah, man. That's all I got. I can't believe that you do some of this game with your eyes closed. That's kind of... Amazing. Oh. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I... Yeah, that... No, thank hey, you. Daddy. Buddy. Did you just throw something? Kind of sounded like you threw your cell phone at the wall. Hearing things, pops. I remember when you were just four years old. <sighs> Mom was going like that being at the head of the bed. Not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. These are little hands reaching up for the keys. <laughs> she just couldn't believe how gifted I have little you hands. were. Once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Oh, is it recognizing that I've closed my eyes? Wait, is that? That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Oh. Oh, got my mouse moved. Plan B. She's listening. Oh, I wanted to keep. Oh, I wanted to stay there. she's here we've got to show this cat some real love my voice sounds different she's been through more than we can even imagine oh. she has 
hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Get well soon. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Okay, that's probably why she didn't react so well to me being ill, because it probably reminded her of... You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. Oh. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Is this his mom's name? Hey, what are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I was so sure it was his mum's name. <laughs> I was going straight for the L. Oh, this is just a star, right? No? What am I... What's this going to be? Star? Stay? Here? I need to stop guessing if I get this wrong. <laughs> keep guessing things. I want to give you something, but I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now. That's fair enough. Okay? I don't like people opening presents I've given them when I'm there. Can I open my eyes? It's hard to move the controller. Ugh. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, That's a good didn't answer. I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> Bet she feels bad now. I can't tell whether this is like, this was going on at the same time, or he kind of kidded himself into his childhood. I can't, I can barely even move my mouse now. It feels like, it feels like 
sounds like it's made from sand. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay. Benny, I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I agree. I know just what to tell her. Oh gosh. Watch for her now. I can't I've tell whether he lived that life that we depending played on the soul originally, I bring her. or whether that was the life but he once you see her, wanted you'll to know. live. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. I don't know whether I feel more nervous or less nervous now that he's not accusing me of being a big old liar, because... I quite liked the first story that we told ourselves. What's he doing to get ready? He's just on one knee there. What time is it? I watched Drag Race with a friend at five, so I was just checking what time it was. <laughs> seeing I wish me luck it looks a lot like gatekeeper Arca. before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old oh, no. that means she's ready to hear your story you know I never told you how much I loved your story really so imaginative and the person you wrote about is such an interesting <sighs> and intense guy that didn't happen my only issue was well I didn't like him very much so I wanted to read you something I wrote for you which is about the Benny I've known <laughs> didn't for expect to be crying now. this much on, on my it's YouTube called, channel the Great Life we go of for Benjamin a Brin. Oh, Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home, to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. See, his mother was a composer, or... Oh. At least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams... Came out, ...she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick. And was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made, made up a story of the great life thought he wanted to live. Which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world. And he made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. I'm sorry I'm blinking so much. How he reminded them of exactly who after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. A full life. And he was everything Ugh. he needed to be. Just as he was. Closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. You know what to do. Why is he smiling like that? 
He must be somewhere that he likes. to do another video where I talk about what I thought about this game because I don't think I'm going to get too much um, thoughtful, concise things out right now. Um, I did not know. I just didn't think that's the turn the game was going to take. I only, read, I only read one review. I think it was on Polygon and um, it definitely mentioned that it was going to be a tearjerker but I, I truly thought it was just the life of um, an artist. Do, do, oh, does it always end like that? Oh god, I have this bad feeling that you make choices and maybe I made the wrong, I don't know. I don't think, <laughs> I'm clinging too much to the fact that maybe sleeping on the beach is what got him, but I don't think that's the case at all. It, you could see the x-ray, it wasn't just a... <sighs> I feel bad that I said that his mum was hard on him because obviously she then read that letter. But I think she understood. I don't know. Gosh. Hats off to the people who made this game. Oh, I haven't played any of their games before. This is my first. Have they made any other games? I don't actually know. Um, yeah, I'm going to make another video, I think. I think I might play this game through again, not on uh, in a Let's Play, and um, see if anything else happens, because I'd really like to make a video about it, but I want to know if anything could have been different, and I'm going to take these off, and whether it's always the same, well, I have a feeling it's always the same outcome, but, you know, the road together, whether that's any different. Gosh, did not want to be crying on my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's been going like a month, this is too soon to be sobbing my my eyes out. I really enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, and I, I think you should still play it, even if you've watched me just play the entire thing. I think it's something that you really need to experience for yourself, um, particularly the moments where I had to have my eyes closed. Um, a game, I've never had a game do that to me before, and I can see why it took them so long and I'm so glad I saw the tweet about this because if I completely missed this game I'd have been pretty gutted well I wouldn't have known but I would have been pretty gutted <laughs> um that was excellent and also a true testament to how you should definitely back games on kickstarter I was actually thinking of doing a video about games that you should check out and and back on kickstarter that at the moment um I think I'm definitely gonna do that this was the this was the kickstart I needed to make that video. But yeah, sorry again for crying so much. Um, gosh, I think, yeah, I'm gonna collect my thoughts. I'm gonna play this again once I've recovered a little bit and I'm probably gonna do a video on my thoughts about it, a little video essay, which will be much more concise and maybe a lot less sobby. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you watch this entire thing, that means so much to me and I really appreciate it um give this a thumbs up if you liked it and also if you liked the game um and let me know any other games you think I should play if they could make me cry less I would really appreciate it but yes thank you so so much um please subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one goodbye Whew. my mascara is running my makeup smudged but had a good time. <sighs> that was a good game. That was a really good game. <laughs>